Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm gonna take a close look on this new all-in-one camera which I've just received. Came in this bag. Inside we got the camera, this server extending wire, do a look velcro which is great and I actually love this kind of velcros and the instruction manual which is extremely useful because it's completely either in Cantonese or Mandarin so it's not very usable but there are online instructions and it's not so complicated to use so I'm going to walk you through on how to use the camera so you can see this camera it's not in the same form factor as the good old TX-03 camera which I usually use in my micro quadcopters builds. You can see this is the TX-03 and this camera is a bit more lengthy and I'm going to do a direct comparison between these two cameras although I don't think they are intended to be used with the same vehicles. I think this camera is more intended to be used with either RC planes or with RC vehicles. The operating voltage is between 3.3 to 5 volts and the output is adjustable with this not so comfortable knob. So if you turn it left to the maximum it's going to be 200 milliwatt and if you turn it, turn it right to the maximum it's going to be 20 milliwatts. The weight is 9.5 grams comparing to the TX03 which is almost 5 grams so it's almost twice as much so it's it's heavier and this one is 700 TV line versus the TX03 which is ready to be 600 TV lines. Now one big draw that this camera has that it doesn't have any indicator to the channel that you're currently using so you can change it just with one button and it doesn't even tell you how to switch between the frequencies I guess you will have to long press it but we'll have to see and this camera has this very useful and easy LED indicator that this camera doesn't feature so let's power up the camera and see how the video looks like okay so I just made this cable in order to connect it to a 1S battery so let's connect it and we will need to scan for the right band so let's go ahead and do it okay so you can see the quality of the camera it's actually it's pretty hard to tell if it's better than the TXO3 or not but I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side video maybe it will give us a better picture so changing the channel is done by pressing this button as I said earlier and it is really inconvenient because there is no way you can see which channel that you're using and if you long press it it will also change the band and then you can see you won't have any indication so this is really bad and this is what one of the things that makes this camera not such a good purchase unfortunately and because after you lose it, let's do another scan to find the right band. So this is one of the main disadvantages of the camera. So this camera, after you set up the band, basically you won't want to touch it again. So the next thing I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to take it outdoors and take two cameras. The TXO3 and this camera, put it side by side and we'll test the range and the quality. This camera actually costs a little bit more than the TX03, so the only reason to buy this camera is if it will give either exceptional picture quality or an exceptional range. So let's go outside and test it out. 